Cristiano Ronaldo, he's over there in Saudi Arabia. He loves it, apparently, and he's just passed the 500 goal mark. Yes, he did Thursday night. Uh, El Nasser played away against El Wahda. El Wahda, the team from Mecca, uh, first team, first football team. Uh, from the from the holy city of Saudi Arabia, and uh, Cristiano is fi finally lifting his mark over Saudi Arabian football. He scored a super hat trick, which means four goals in one match. He crossed, as you as you mentioned, uh, the 500 goals mark, uh, league goals in his career. Obviously, he scored uh, uh, 800 and. 24 goals all over his, his uh, football nice. career, yes. But the most important thing that after a shaky start, Cristiano Ronaldo is starting to get uh, his dominant space, his, his momentum in Saudi Arabia is building. He helped El Nasser to keep their first, uh, their top of the table position in the Saudi Pro League. And I think that the plan that El Nasser and Saudi, Saudi Arabia had in bringing Cristiano Ronaldo in is starting to, to achieve its goals, especially in games like this when he scores a super hat trick. And you know, also El Nasser fans and El Wahda fans are cheering for him Absolutely. in the stadium. That uh, investment is paying off. Yeah, it's let's starting stay, to pay off. Yeah. Let's stay in Saudi Arabia. Al Hilal uh, making history for yeah. Arab and Asian football. Yeah, yeah. The big, basically the biggest rivals of El Nasser, of Ronaldo's El Nasser, Al Hilal, the team from Riyadh that had a tremendous week. Uh, internationally, they played the Club World Cup in Morocco uh, and became the first Asian champions, the first AFC Champions League winners, to qualify to the Club World Cup final, which is a massive history for Asian football, for Arab football, and for Saudi football. But we got used to it because Saudi football is basically having its, uh, you know, casual renaissance in the past few months since the World Cup. Um, they've beaten Widad Casablanca, as we mentioned last week, but also Flamengo in the semi-final, three two tremendous match and in the final they played against Real Madrid they lost 5-3 but their performance was distinguished very respectful they managed to get a, a lot of standing ovation from world football that mm -hmm. suddenly noticed that Saudi Arabia is not only this national team who managed to beat Argentina in the World Cup but also successful football clubs such as Al Hilal and it's funny because you know El Nasser of Ronaldo he has uh, the nickname El Alami. El Alami means the international. Going back to the 2000, the first Saudi team to play against Real Madrid. So El Al basically took over this nickname in the past weekend because they play against Real Madrid in the final of the Club World Cup, bringing a big name and uh, up and, uh, boosting the reputation of Saudi football in the world, basically. So the European players are going to the Middle East. Uh, yes. Middle East money is coming more and more to Europe. Uh, the Emirates already own um, Manchester City. Yes. Right, Qatar might buy Manchester United. Yes, this is what we are hearing. Uh, we heard that the QSI, the Qatar Sports Investment Fund, is searching for a club in England, which is very interesting because we know that QSI is the owners of Paris Saint-Germain for Ligue 1, French League, uh, and according to UEFA statutes, one owner cannot uh, own two clubs playing in the same league. But now we are hearing there is a move behind the scenes from Qatar to buy Manchester United, not through QSI, but from a different body there or a different fund that they will uh, um, they will build, they will uh, establish, and it will be interesting to see because we know Manchester United is for sale. Manchester United is one of the biggest brands in world football and maybe the world uh, at the general. Uh, and if Qatar is getting into the game in the Premier League, so we will have an Emirati club in the Premier League, a Saudi club in the Premier League, and a Qatari club in the Premier League. And you know, many people question Qatar's desire to continue and invest in the football world after the World Cup is over. I think the answer is right here on the table. It's the new centre of world football, as you keep Easy. telling us, Uri. Easy. We'll have to leave it there, Uri. We're out of time, but thank you very much. Great thank to see you, you. as always.